Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Algorand. A-L-G-O. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go down below, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, if you could tap the like button too, I'd really appreciate it. Almost getting to a thousand subscribers. Be pretty awesome if I can get there. Okay, let's get started. Algorand. What is going on? So, uh, Algorand came and created a new low, uh, which is really unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> but actually, I haven't even tested this. Let's find out from bottom to top. Fibonacci here. And let me take a couple of these things off. Clean it up a little bit. Put that on. So Algorand had fallen below. I'm just going to do a little recap for anybody who hasn't been following my channel. Had fallen below the 618. And we've been testing, testing, trying to break above the 618 multiple times. Um, and then got that heavy rejection due to the uh, big fiasco that just happened with FTX. And we fell below the support line here, which was really unfortunate. Um, but, and we have one day, 16 hours left. What I'd really like to see with Algorand is to hold above this support line here and have this just be a fake out down here. If we end up getting pushed back down <clears throat> and the body of the candle closes below the support line here, I'm on the weekly time frame. if I didn't say that already. If... Um, we end up closing below the support line that I'm expecting that to be the retest and rejection. And there's a solid chance we come down to the 786, which is just around 20 cents. Uh, now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We got a day and 16 hours to find out. But if you are holding Algorand, you really want to see us hold above basically 28 cents. Yeah, 28 cents is maybe 27.90 ish. But 28 cents is really what you want to see this price hold above. Uh, closing the week out. Now, we do have a red dot on the trend directional, but this has been kind of iffy. I mean, look at all these red, green, red, red, green. And again, if it happens again, we get this red here and another green for the next week. That would just mean that the next week we push ourselves up, which would be good if this plays out the same way it has been. Uh, another good sign here on the weekly is the fact that the RSI has uh, not only is creating a bullish divergence here where you have the price falling, and the RSI rising. So you've got that going for it on the weekly, which is good. Uh, but you also have it holding above the moving average, which is the white holding, getting support on the pinkish red line there <clears throat> and attempting to move back up. <clears throat> and we originally started and we came up uh, in this weekly candle right here. And we got rejected right around the 50 level on the RSI, came down, which is what you want to see. Uh, well, it's not what you want to see, but it's most likely what you're going to see in that scenario. Uh, but I wasn't hoping, I wasn't expecting us to fall this far down. That was all uh, news driven right here. And so we're just uh, attempting to reclaim that. Uh, also, again, we are heading against heavy resistance. This is all support here for a very long time. Again, this is the weekly time frame. So... I mean, if things are looking bullish uh, for the short term, I guess, you know, we'd have to close above these candle bodies over here and again above 28 cents. So that's on the weekly time frame. We do have that divergence, which is a good sign uh, for the price action. We're also I'm also just starting to see uh, some coins getting into the green over here. I mean, actually, I just know Aury is up 20% today uh, and that I think just recently happened because um, I've been looking at this was all red here just a minute ago so I mean and some other coins volts going up almost 5% and so forth so we are starting to see some green it is 1224 in the morning Pacific Standard Time where I'm at usually price action starts to kick in around anywhere between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock uh, in the morning at my time. And so I'd say around 3 o'clock is when we're going to get some decisive moves here for the day. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's go down to the day and see what's going on here on the daily time frame. Um, we do have a green dot on the trend directional. And, uh, you know, that's a good sign that we're still in the money on the trend directional as well. And we are attempting 
to break above. As you can see, they're kind of, it is crossed, but uh, it looks like it's trying to get rejected and trying to break above all at the same time. So again, the day is going to have to finish before we find out whether or not the RSI is going to break above the moving average here. And when it does that, usually you get a move to the upside. And so that's the daily. Uh, also, actually, I wanted to point out on the 12 hour, you can see kind of a inverse head and shoulders form in here, um, which we have now broken above and retested on the 12 hour. And on top of that, uh, the trend directional is moving in the right direction. And we are attempting to get above the 50 line on the 12 hour on the RSI. So there is something happening here. If this were to play out this uh, inverse head and shoulders here, uh, that would bring us back above the 200 EMA. And the price target says it's going to be around 37 cents, but I actually think it would probably be coming right into uh, this 618 uh, Fibonacci here. So what I could see playing out if this actually does play out is we get the move, we get possibly rejected here, come back down, retest this 50 uh, moving average here, and then finally getting the breakout, coming up and hitting this uh, 618 Fibonacci here on the larger time frame. And then we come back down, retest the 200, and if we're lucky, we'll break back through. And if we pull ourselves back a little bit here, what that does for us uh, is it is it brings us all the way back up to the top and retesting the uh, resistance here again. So, I mean, that would be the most bullish scenario, in my opinion, is something like that playing out. It is nice to see this inverse head and shoulders playing out right now, uh, along with the trend directional moving that way and the RSI trying to get above the 50. So that is a nice sign there to see that happening. Um, and so let's just kind of, if you're, you know, holding Algorand and you are trying to be bullish here, uh, that's kind of what you want to see. Now, again, the bearish scenario is as we close below this line here and then we continue on down to the 20 cent level. Let's go down to the four hour really quick before we wrap it up. It's more clear on the four hour, this inverse head and shoulders here. Uh, and it looks like on the four hour, we did attempt to come up. We did get, we didn't reach it quite, but basically you can say you got rejected off of the 200 here, came back down to do the retest, which is what you want to see on this type of a pattern. You want to break out and then a retest. And it looks to me uh, on the four hour, that is that we actually might get a couple retests here. It looks like this candle is about to come back down and possibly retest our green line here, which is the support um, uh, of the broadening wedge, and then also retest the pink line here, which is the head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders uh, support now. And so it looks like we're trying to get ahead down there. The trend directional is telling me that that's a possibility as well. We, <clears throat> we might get a roll over here, come back down. So on the four hour, I could see us coming back down still down here and then moving up which on the trend directional would look something like this. And then you'd get your green dot right about here on the trend directional. And so it just would create a top wave, uh, a smaller little top wave. And then we'd come up again and get that breakout up there on the four hour if this is going to be a bullish move. Now, we don't know what it's going to be yet. I mean, there's lots of things going on. Lots of uh, people shorting the market right now. Um, could be a short squeeze coming. I've been saying this now for a couple days that I think a short squeeze might actually be playing out since so many people think that this is going to fall uh, and there's so much leverage going to the, you know, shorting the market. I do believe that a short squeeze could happen, which would be really good uh, to clear out some of that. And uh, so just pay attention if you're into Algorand, if you're looking for the short term, hope that this head and inverse head and shoulders plays out. I mean, if it does and you do get in at this retest here, you're probably looking at a good 37% move uh, when it's all said and done, which is obviously pretty good, especially if you're on 10x leverage or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, pay attention to the short term. The long term, uh, again, one day, 16 hours. Pay attention. We really need to close above 28 cents in order for this to to uh, be remain neutral to bullish, in my opinion. That's kind of all I got for Algorand. If you got any comments or anything, uh, just go ahead and leave that down in the comments down below. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you. And uh, just remember, not a financial advisor, just a dude on his computer. Talk to you later.